everybody, it's Len. Welcome back to my channel. This was definitely not the video I was planning for this week, but I think we're gonna have a blast and uh, it's definitely gonna be a challenge. So what seems to be happening a lot at the moment in the makeup and beauty community are these really interesting makeup challenges. Oh my goodness, every week there seems to be a brand new way to challenge yourself to apply makeup where the audience decides on something or animals decide on something. It seems that every week there's another really original challenge out there and I've just seen a video from Mikey from Glam and Gore, I think it's her original idea, where she lets predictive text choose her makeup and it was hilarious and I definitely want it in. Now, I have dabbled in makeup a little bit on YouTube, just a tiny bit. But today I'm going to be sticking to my original craft, which is illustration, and I'm going to let predictive text decide what I'll be drawing today. Hopefully I can kind of direct it into the initial direction I want to go. I mean, if it asks me to draw a potted plant, potted plants are cool, but it's definitely not what I'm used to drawing. If you don't know me as an illustrator, hi, I'm Ikutri. You can check me out on Instagram. That's where I currently post most of my art because my website is down. Yes, it's been down for at least a year now. Oh my goodness, I need to get on that. But yes, I am known for drawing humans. <laughs> I love designing and creating characters, human characters, morphed characters, animalistic characters. That's not the word I'm looking for. Anthropomorphic animals. No, it's definitely the other way around. And of course, I'm still learning as an artist and finding my style, but I am hoping that predictive text will take me down the that that road if possible. I'm looking here because this is where my phone is and hopefully it won't die on me because this is an iPhone 5S from I don't know how many years ago. And sometimes I can type out two sentences, put my phone down and wait and see the words magically appear on the screen. You have no idea how frustrating that is. So to make this a little easier on me and the designing process, I'm going to be working digitally and I'm going to try and have a vague idea of what this... I was going to say character, but maybe I'm not even going to end up drawing a character. What this thing is I'm going to be drawing. I'm going to be practically asking the phone a bunch of questions about what this thing look like, looks like, getting as much detail as I can and probably adding details, asking more questions to it along the way. This is weird and my phone is going to be deciding what I'm drawing today. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, welcome to my setup, welcome to my phone. Let's type in today. I'm going to draw Today I'm going to draw my hair color and then I'll try and find to find a way to make it look good So I feel like my phone is slightly dissing my hair color and yes, it is all over the place phone But at least we know that we have a character with my weird brown to white Hair color that is the first clue. I'm not gonna be mad at it. I want to draw a picture of the one day before I go to sleep. So I'm pretty sure I'm drawing myself by now with better, with a better hair color. Um, before I go to sleep, I like inventing characters and drawing myself is a little... Eh, but maybe I can get something more out of this. I am wearing... Ooh, shirt or dress. I'm wearing a blue shirt and a half day off. So the way I'm interpreting that is that I'm wearing a blue shirt and on days off, it is true that I usually am pantless. So I'm just wearing a t-shirt and my underwear before going to bed, which is okay because I can make it look like pajamas. It doesn't have to be awkward. Now, how can I get more out of this? Let's try a, and set a mood for this character that is supposedly me, if I can figure things out. I am feeling... I'm feeling a little discouraged about the day. This definitely took a different turn than what I thought. 
Now even though the phone is trying to tell me that I'm drawing myself, I want to just confirm a few details with it just to make sure that I'm not drawing an alternative parallel world type version of myself. So let's see, let's ask it a simple question to start with. My eyes are... My eyes are the color of the light. So my eyes are between white and yellow. I want to ask it if I'm human or if there are parts of me that I have borrowed from the animal kingdom, but I'm not sure how to ask it. I'm gonna try... Today I look like a... Today I look like a little girl. Okay, so we have figured out that I am somewhat human. I am a version of myself with yellow colored eyes and better hair than I have. But now we figured out that I am younger and that I'm going to bed feeling discouraged about the day. So see, character design is a very serious thing. You need as much detail as you can to really create the proper uh, persona for your client, <laughs> even a very difficult client. Um, I'm gonna try something else and stop calling this character I and calling it the little girl. And we're gonna try and round her up by figuring out what type of things she likes, such as the little girl. The little girl's favorite color is a nice little piece of cake. So not only do we have playful shades because cake colors are pastels and pink and girly but also we've discovered that she has a sweet tooth so that really is going to help me with the ambience of this piece with that i think i can start drawing and if i have more questions i can hit my client up again and get some uh, justifications so let's start with a rough sketch and we can also start deciding on some color palettes. So, let's get started. <laughs>
and I am done. Woohoo, liberation. <laughs> yeah. So this is the finished result for my uh, client. Where is my client? Here is my client. Siri, are you satisfied with the quality of my service? I don't have the answer to that. Is there something else I can help you with? Yeah, that was to be expected. Myself, I am somewhat satisfied. I am a perfectionist and I know the limits of my digital skills, especially when it comes to color. I'm still very attached to line art. As I've mentioned, I'm always learning. But all in all, it was really interesting to make. The predictive text was challenging, which made it really fun, but also infuriating because I really wanted to get some answers out of this damn phone that I couldn't get so I kind of made it bend towards where I wanted it to go. All in all, I think I would like to do some more of these art challenges. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more content from me and I would really appreciate it if you could support me on other social media platforms. It's really difficult for illustrators and creatives to get out there so every little helps greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much and I will see you again very soon in another video. Don't forget to go check out Glam and Gore Mikey's video, though you probably know her. I don't know why I'm explaining myself and I'll work you up. Bye!